Hello friends, I'm Sharp. Welcome to my how-to video for installing the Morrowind code patch. If you have purchased the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind through Steam and are using Windows 10. The reason I'm making this video is because I have had quite the ordeal over the last week trying to fix trying to get this patch downloaded. The problem is the version on the Morrowind Nexus is too old and Windows 10 doesn't recognize it. But thankfully after hours of forum hopping, one lovely person, I found a comment, uh, posted a link to this website where a literal angel has made an updated code patch file available for quick, easy download. I'll put the link in the description of this video, but it is download.fliggerty.com forward slash download hyphen 58 hyphen 139. That'll take you directly to this uh, website where all you have to do is click the download button here. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Uh, and the reason that I need this patch is because there's a bug in the game where even if you have all of the sounds turned down, if you're wearing armor and you get hit in combat, the sound effect will be painfully loud and your poor eardrums will be quite out of sorts. Uh, once the file is downloaded, you need to find it in your downloads folder. And if you just try to click it down here from your browser, Windows will say, I don't know how to open this file. Uh, so that doesn't work. So you have to actually manually find your downloads folder. Um, I keep my file manager right here on my taskbar, so I just right click and I go to downloads and there it is right there. Um, then you'll need another window of the file manager open and uh, you need to find your Morrowind folder. So I have two hard drives on this uh, laptop, so mine's saved on the D drive. Uh, but what you're looking for is the folder Steam Apps, and then you go to Common, and then Morrowind should be under that. Um, if you only have one hard drive, uh, by default it saves to the C drive, and you want to make sure that it's in Users, Public, Public Games, uh, then there will be a Steam Apps folder, and then the Common folder, and Morrowind will be under that. So we're just going to drag and drop the Morrowind code batch right to the Morrowind folder, like so. Uh, and then we're going to right click on it, and we're going to click Open With, because again, uh, Windows 10 can't just unzip this file by itself. So we have to go look for an app in the store. Uh, so we're going to do that, and there's a couple of different apps here that can be used. Uh, AirRise does not work, Unpacker does not work, I've gone through quite a few of these. One that I did find that works that is very simple is 9-Zip, so this one right here. So you just click on that and click Install. Uh, so it's going to take a second here. Um, but yeah, the I don't know why it was such an ordeal to do this, but here we go. So it'll install it. We don't need to launch it or anything. Just close this out. Now we'll hit open again, and it'll automatically bring it up in 9-zip. So we click the extract all button here, and we want to put this right back in the Morrowind folder. So just click my Morrowind folder comes up automatically because I've been doing this so much, but if you have to, you'll go to this PC, click whichever hard drive it's on, yada yada. But get it back to the Morrowind folder, and it will go ahead and extract, and at that point, you just close all of this out. If you go back in here, now it's created a Morrowind code patch folder, uh, but it's not going to work if you try to run it from there, so we have to take Everything that's inside that folder, drag it back out to the Morrowind folder. So now this folder is empty, as you can see, so you can just go ahead and delete it. Sorry, delete it. Uh, now the executable is here, uh, so you just double click it and it will run. Say yes, you can do whatever you want to my game, just fix it please. <laughs> By default, uh, it has only the necessary bug fixes and everything clicked. 
Uh, there is a whole bunch of goodies in here that you would just have to go through and decide on your own whether you wanted to install them, but <clears throat> just installing the default stuff will fix the audio issue. So I'm not going to add anything extra here. I'm just going to apply the chosen patches. And it says the patch is, has succeeded, and that's literally all you have to do. And then from there, you can go ahead and run your game. Uh, and by default, when I launch my game, <clears throat> the sound is pretty loud. But I'll just go ahead and turn it down. There we go. And load it up. And when you get in there and you get into a fight, you will find that your poor eardrums are no longer being assaulted. So that's it. Um, I want to dedicate this video to Banana9000, one of my viewers whose eardrums have suffered as much as mine and who did their level best to help me. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If there's any other Morrowind issues you'd like me to quest to find the solution for, you can leave a comment and I will do my best to make a video for that as well. Uh, catch my streams on Saturdays and Wednesdays to see me play Morrowind, and happy gaming to you all.